and I can tell you that all of us remain united in achieving one goal, and that's to serve our customers better than any other automobile. Well, that means listening to them, meeting their needs, and providing vehicles that are unmatched in terms of quality, safety, reliability, and value. Now, the bulk of our recalls were the result of three vehicle conditions. First, there was the possible floor mat entrapment of the accelerators, and that affected over five million vehicles. Then there was the <coughs> possible sticking accelerator pedal in extremely rare cases, which affected over two million vehicles. And third, the need to reprogram the ABS computer in about 150,000 Prius and Lexus vehicles. Thanks to the extraordinary efforts of our dealer organization, we have already made over 5 million repairs. In the case of the sticking of pedal recall, we fixed more than 80% of the affected vehicles in just nine months. And we've been able to do that because we hit the ground running from the minute we realized that we needed to recall. In fact, when the staking pedal first came to light, our North American leadership team quickly decided to halt production of 11 assembly lines for one week. And then in a matter of days, the problem was identified, a remedy was designed, and more than one million parts were shipped to our dealers. From there, our nearly 1,500 Toyota and Lexus dealers stepped up in a big way. They extended their service hours, with some even staying open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now on the sales side, we had many discussions about how to support our dealers. Ultimately, we decided that they knew their customers best. So we wrote them a check and we told them, you design a thank you program that your customers want. Our dealers responded with programs ranging from free meals, car washes, free maintenance. They held customer open forums, dinners, handing out cookies on the service route. Many of those success stories took place right here in our mid-Atlantic region, where along with our local suppliers and the 157 dealership, Toyota generates over 15,000 jobs. Now at the corporate level, we also took major steps as a company to ensure that we are more responsive, a more responsive and quality-driven, safety-focused organization. Our president, Akio Toyota, established a special committee for global quality to do a top-to-bottom review of our quality assurance processes in all aspects of our operations, including design, manufacturing, and aftermarket support. Steve Sanangelo, a senior U.S. <coughs> plant executive, has been appointed Chief Quality Officer for North America. Steve's job is to ensure that our North American operations remain focused on quality, safety, and customer service. And he has a direct line to Akio Toyota if he encounters any problems. In addition, we welcome the independent scientific evaluations, including those of NASA, the National Academy of Sciences, to evaluate our electronic systems as well as those of other automobiles. We are very confident there are no ghosts in our electronics. Our own engineers have tested our elect electronic throttle control system for decades, and we've put more than 40 million vehicles on the road with them, and thus far, we have never found one single case of unintended acceleration due to a system defect. Now, just to be sure, however, we've retained Exponent, 
one of the world's leading scientific and engineering consulting firms, to investigate all aspects of the sudden acceleration issue. Exponents assessment is ongoing, and we set no limits on the scope of their evaluation, which will be made public regardless of the results. We also established the North American Quality Advisory Panel, headed by former Secretary of Transportation Rodney Slater, to advise Toyota on safety and quality issues. To further improve our quality and safety assurance, we've assigned 1,000 additional engineers to quality activities and analysis. And in the US, we created smart teams of engineers and technical experts to quickly investigate any unintended acceleration claims anywhere <coughs> in the US. Recently, we announced that because unintended acceleration claims had dropped by 80%, our smart teams would be utilized to investigate other customer concerns as they arise. No one else in the auto industry is providing that kind of support. Plus, we're adding five product quality field offices in the US and another two in Canada to strengthen our field technical presence, data gathering, and reporting. Now, while we're proud of those initiatives, we know that at the end of the day, success in the automotive business comes down to building safe and re reliable cars that customers want to buy. So we continue to work to improve our lineup. For example, Toyota is the only full-line automaker to offer the STAR safety system as standard equipment. STAR safety includes ABS, vehicle stability control, traction control, electronic brake force distribution, and brake assist. By the end of the year, all of our new cars and trucks will come standard with a brake override system. We will call that SMART stop. Smart stop will reduce the engine power when the brake and the accelerator pedals are applied at the same time. And this month, we announced that Toyota Care, with our two-year, 25,000-mile free maintenance program, would be immediately become standard on all Toyota and Scion models. We launched the program back in the spring and it's been a real home run with our customers. In fact, 73% of them said that it improved their confidence in Toyota. Toyota is the first volume brand to offer this feature, and we've launched an extensive advertising campaign to get the word out. Now, on the product side, we've had a tremendous response to our third generation Sienna Mini Man or as we like to call it, the Swagger Way. Our uh, flagship Avalon sedan also was greatly improved this past spring and is doing very well in the market, as our new versions of the 4Runner, the Scion XV, and our Highlander and Highlander Hybrid models are being refreshed and are now on sale. The new Scion TC Sports Scoop has just gone on sale and we'll launch another sign on, the IQ, a micro car with lots of room early next year. We'll also have new models for Lexus as well, including a new hybrid that we will also introduce next year. Now beyond the positive response to our new models, we are encouraged that our customers have remained fiercely loyal to Toyota and we're grateful for their support. In fact, we're seeing an increase in competitive trade-ins back to pre-recall levels. September marked the third consecutive month that nearly 57% of buyers switched to Toyota from another manufacturer. And a July analysis from Arnold Polk showed that loyalty among Toyota owners 
of the recall vehicles increased more than our other customers. Now, that's a strong sign that our dealers are making the most of this opportunity to reconnect with our customers and improve their overall experience. And through it all, Toyota continues to be the number one selling retail brand in the country. That means we sell more vehicles to consumers than any other one. In addition, Camry has re retained its position as the best selling car, passenger car in America. Used vehicle sales are another bright spot for us as Toyota certified used vehicles reported their sixth consecutive record month in September with sales of over 25,000 vehicles. The results are better even here regionally. In the Mid-Atlantic region, Toyota has led all manufacturers in total sales for the third year in a row. In fact, through August, the Mid-Atlantic region for Toyota has sold more hybrid vehicles than any other manufacturer in the Along with our encouraging sales, we continue to be recognized for our leadership in, in a number of areas by various independent expert organizations. 11 Toyota, Lexus, and Scion vehicles topped their segments in J.D. Power's Vehicle Dependability <coughs> Study, while Toyota and Lexus took top honors in six of 21 segments in their initial quality survey. Seven of our vehicles were named the top safety picks by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety this year. And Forbes recently named six of our vehicles to its top 12 list of cars with the best reliability and ownership cost in the industry. Now looking ahead, we expect our industry to continue its steady, modest path to recovery. You may recall that just a few months ago, Industry analysts were very optimistic for a strong sales recovery this year. Maybe they were a little bit too optimistic. Some said the industry would reach over 12 to 13 million units by the end of the year. Well, the, the truth is, the industry is on the mend, but the economic recovery is much slower than many forecasted earlier this year. The good news is that the job market, personal consumption, capital spending, and residential investment are inching up. The bad news is, is that lingering high unemployment, the erratic stock prices are restraining consumer confidence and spending, and that impacts all the sales. Our forecast for the industry sales this year is to reach somewhere between 11.2 and 11.5 million vehicles. That will be an improvement over 2009, but still well below our peak levels of 17 million just a few years ago. And we continue to be bullish on the long-term prognosis for the auto industry due to the nation's aging fleet, high scrappage rates, and a strong U.S. population growth. We believe all of these factors are increasing the pressure for consumers to buy a new car. So it's not a matter of if, it's really when. Now, we're aiming to stay ahead of this rising demand by continuing to invest in the future. We're spending nearly $1 million an hour, on average, on research and development. We are committed to maintaining our environmental leadership position developing technologies that serve our customers and the environment. The Toyota Prius is really an excellent example of that commitment. It's been on sale here in the U.S. for over 10 years now, and it continues to be the leading hybrid with nearly 900,000 customers. Nearly seven out of 10 hybrid vehicles in America today were built by Toyota, and one out of every two is a priest. 